I'm going to go back this way. We've just been to the horror, so I don't think we're going to get more terror from it. And I can explore at least this little spot here. That white stuff is so beautiful. Oh. Marauders. Oh, the Tackities are still mad at me, aren't they? They are. Oh, I'm out of here. Oh no, I was gone long enough for the terror to come back. What the heck is that thing? Retrieve. What is... A fungal fragment? I need that for research at the uh, nature reserve, I think. I had no idea where to get it. In sky suits and spore masks, your crew hauls a porous asteroid aboard. The top half is veiled by a mesh of fungus, like minty crinoline. Lichen of all shades cling to the underside of the rock in an iridescent coating. That is so cool. <laughs> I can destroy, <laughs> destroy the fungus to make us less scared. Um, I guess we need a harvest? Wait, no. Your stokers assure you it can be burned for fuel. Well, I don't want to do that. I... I thought I needed this for research. Maybe just study it? Try that. Success. It does not respond to movement, heat, or light. It does, however, seem inclined towards sound, emitting a puff of spores in the direction of two chattering crewmen. You perform further experiments. It ignores the noise of the engines and is unresponsive to music. But it does respond to singing. Apparently, the fungus likes voices. <laughs> That's so cool. Got a vision of the heavens. Yeah, I thought we needed that for the nature reserve. Okay, the rest of the way back should be pretty uneventful. Unsettled dreams. Oh, you can have bad dreams even without having nightmares? I mean, you know, without literally having a level of nightmare, I can have nightmares. A dream of a midnight meadow. Above you, the stars are going out one by one as if their gas pipes had been turned off. Flowers bloom in the dark, colored in a spectrum of blacks that were heretofore imperceptible. The black of grief, the black of before times, the blacks of liberation and of possibility. A rainbow arches across the newly empty sky in seven subtle shades, all black, of course. You wake. Makes sense of the dream. Three Tales of Terror for... Oh, trade Three Tales of Terror for a Vision of the Heavens. Commit your dream to the Captain's Log or Seek Company. Let's commit it to the Captain's Log. Trap the dream like a fly in amber. You record the dream as vividly and as thoroughly as you can. Does your hand tremble as you write? Does the ink spill? And when you read it back, does it make sense? Or does it sound like the ravings of a crumbling mind? A new tale of terror and five more terror. Oh, hey, I think there is a little pathway through here. I don't have to go all the way down to get up to the circus. Also, this music in this area is so good. Hey, you're fighting. 
Oh, that reminds me. I haven't tried out my new weapon. <laughs> that is so cool looking. It's surprisingly quiet. Good, no tackety wanted to suddenly kill me. Just bought a supply at the circus. Also, the uh, new arrivals are here again. Listen to their stories. Reduces our terror by a bunch. Let's also check out the attraction again. Awesome, collect more free tickets. And visit the amusements, down to 27%. Back at New Winchester. Ooh, our terror is now... Z oh, I thought it was zero. It's, it's one. Has it been enough time to get more prospects? It has, thank God. Okay, so Magdalene's needs nectar. How many do you want? Three gourds. Ah, I wish it was five. Literature for Pulmere and Plenties. How many do they want? Five? Good. Um, oh yeah, let's drop off our filmmaker, shall we? Is it under Explore the City? Yeah. Oh hey, there's something new here too. Drop off Madame Lumiere. She's eager to get back to work. She gives you a brisk handshake as she you departs your locomotive. Better accommodation than I'm used to. Now, I have a premiere to plan. You're invited, of course. It'll be next week, assuming I haven't keeled over. She bustles off into the smog of New Winchester. Your quartermaster complains that it's going to take weeks to get the spores out of her berth. <laughs> your The day of the premiere quality is now 276. What? Hundred sovereigns. Uh, I don't... When did they say it was? It'll be next week. They said it'll be next week. Why is the day of the premiere quality 276? I guess... Does that mean that the premiere is on the 276th day of the year? I mean, I don't know how many... What is the 8th of December? Let me see how many days that is in. I think December 8th is about 341 days into the year, according to this online calculator. So that doesn't match with the whole 276 and it's premiering next week thing unless dates and times work differently in this universe, which is very, very possible. Anyway, we'll see a movie at some point, maybe. An opportunity. A pernickety factor requests a meeting. A neat calling card was waiting for you at the station. The paper was scented. The envelope ironed. Unlocked when you do not have escorting the pernickety factor. Ooh, that picture is like the one from Hybris. So maybe this is how we do more at Hybris. Unlock this with Hybrian Matters. You have 269 in all. The meeting takes several days to arrange. She rejects the round table as a venue in all of the cafes in the upper district, even that nice tea room under the bridges. Eventually, you agree upon the parlor at Company House, which is open to visitors on a Sunday. The pernickety factor requests you change table three times before she's satisfied. I'm looking for several disappeared colonists. I believe their destination was Hybris. It'd be much appreciative if you were to take me there. Hmm. Disappeared colonists and the whole manacles, shackles thing and all that. I think they have gotten away, the people at Hybris. I think they have escaped something. You know, we haven't inquired about the Winchester War for a while. Let's learn about recent developments in the Winchester War. Despite the victory, rumors are circulating throughout New Winchester stations that the company is building new engines in Port Prosper's workyards. Dreadnoughts have been spotted on the Isambard line. It seems London will not abandon its proxy lightly. 
Learn who currently controls the Reach. With the repelling of the Windward Company forces at New Winchester, the Assembly has moved swiftly to consolidate its gains throughout the Reach. A region-wide sweep for London collaborators is ongoing. Port Prosper remains in company hands, however, and shows no signs of conceding. Let's look for my name. You're mentioned extensively in the minds of the editors, and subsequently the Gazette's readership, your name is synonymous with the Tackety cause. Your locomotive appears prominently in Train Spotter's Delight, a column that ostensibly highlights interesting engines cited in the Reach. In actuality, it's the means by which the pars parsimonious chairman indicates which vessels may be fired upon with impunity by company aligned vessels. Oh, that's clever and devious. Train Spotter's Delight is a hit list. Okay, I know what I want to do next. I want to go exploring some more, because I have a couple things here for literature. Two prospects for literature, but I don't actually have anywhere on the map that exports literature. So I need to find more stations. And one of which is Trader's Wood. Here it is. Yeah, Trader's Wood needs literature. Um, the Trader's Wood lies to the south-southeast of New Winchester. So, probably down here. And I was thinking, okay, that's kind of close to Magdalene's, and I actually have a quest to deliver honey to Magdalene's. They need three pieces. But I only have one, so where do I get more nectar? Well, the closest place would probably be to go to Kurilin. They export nectar. So, I think I'm going to go to Kurilin, get some nectar, go down to Magdalene's, complete that prospect, and then start looking for trader's wood in this area. So, first stop, Kurilin. At Kurilin now, just did a port report. Let's visit the overgrown shrine again, the burrower below. Contemplate or, oh, I'm not going to steal an offering, so let's contemplate it. I've already done that before, so I won't read it again. Other than the part that says it's the raw material of nightmares, which I love, and somehow it reduces my terror, which I also love. Okay. Got some bargains. And Gourds of Nectar. I just need two, right? Because I need three for Magdalene's and I already had one. Yes. I don't think I want to buy the deal. Or do I? No, I'm kind of exploring and traveling long distances. I don't really want to pick it up. Nope, I'm just going to leave it and go straight for Magdalene's. I hear shooting down south. Around the rat statue? The memorial to the unknown rat? How dare you? The rat brigade salutes the memorial. A true inspiration, says Cinders. I knew they would like it. Now where did that shooting come from? Oh, this whole area leading to Port Prosper, I think that had a lot of dreadnoughts and like tackities and stuff fighting. I'm not gonna go down there. Oh, hello, I can't wait to trap my new weapon. Oh, I love it, it's so good. Also, there's something stuck in my throat. <clears> throat> Let's the captain's cabin. Some juicy gossip. Yes. Oh, what a beautiful homestead. I've never seen one that looks like this. It looks so advanced. It looks like they have a ship they're working on. It's got those white growths that I only saw recently. An abandoned homestead. Its roof sagged. Its windows empty of glass. For every settler that makes a life for themselves in the Reach, another is lost. Search it. One supply. You find bottles of homemade wine in the cellar, pots of meat pickling under the soil by the doorstep, and salvageable tools in an overgrown shred. Overgrown shred? Overgrown shed. Modest treasures that could mean the difference between life and death if your fortunes turn. 
so amazing looking. Such meager finds for such an amazing looking place. Oh, hello. I love this gun so much. Explore the captain's cabin. More salon stewed gossip. Always juicy, these marauders. The ticking of Magdalens. Let's sell our stuff first. That's a real good profit. The amenable host gives you a warm smile. Marvelous. A number of our staff need to speak in voices that are not their own, and Chorister Nectar works wonders upon the vocal cords. Why don't you stay a while? Enjoy the facilities. Oh! Half-price stack of penny dreadfuls. And they sell up to five of these, and they're a bargain. Oh, I need those for so many quests. Um, I'll wait to buy that till I leave, because we do actually have some other stuff to do. I just remembered it pretty recently. I remember the amenable host had us try to look for their identity, going to Lustrum and a couple other places. Well, we did all that. Now we need to tell them about what we found. Right, all these different services. I don't think I need them, though. Oh, this is actually new, the Keepsake Market. An illicit stall has been set up near the port, where the doctors and nurses of Magdalene sell off the property of captains in their care who require extensive stays. Oh, that's horrible. So if they stay in for a really long time, they just sell all their shit. What the hell? The practice is not encouraged, but the amenable host usually turns a blind eye. So we can just buy things that usually we can't just directly buy, like an otherworldly artifact. Recruit crew. Their old captain is being treated, they find themselves stuck here indefinitely. This will reduce a significant amount of terror if you while away the time with other captains. Magdalene's is a popular respite with most skyfarers in the reach. There's always someone interesting to share a drink with in this house of comfort. Significant amount of terror for just 50 sovereigns. Sounds like a really good deal. I don't need that, though. I'm at 0%. Let's get a port report. And return to the amenable host. What will you tell the amenable host? You've pursued his memories enough to have an answer for him. Oh, oh, this is interesting. Remember, we found they wanted us to check out, like, what they had heard, what their memories told them was their identity on Lustrum, like they remembered being a miner on Lustrum, being in New Winchester, being a Port Prosper. We did that and confirmed that they were there, but they were at all the places. And just, like, disappeared for whatever reason, or I think on Lustrum they even say that they thought this person died. But like, which one is their real identity, if any of them? And it looks like if we want, we could just say, oh yeah, Lustrum, or New Winchester, or Port Prosper. We could just basically lie to them and say, this is who you are. That's a huge responsibility, literally telling somebody who they are. We could tell the truth. Nothing conclusive to find. He might not have been any of them. If you nothing conclusive, which would he prefer to have been? So there's two different ways of telling the truth. Nothing conclusive to find. You have found nothing conclusive. Which would he prefer to have been? I don't... I don't really get the difference between these. Oh yeah, it even says, perhaps... Like if we said that their identity was their one on Lustrum. Perhaps this is who he ought to be. He was shot dead on the mountain and survived. Or New Winchester. You found some fragments that might form a history. A strike-breaking factory owner, now reformed. Report Prosper, you found little evidence, but perhaps enough. 
he continued the work of the Parlor of Virtue on Port Prosper. I definitely don't feel right just telling him who he was when that's not the truth. So let's tell the truth. There was nothing conclusive to find. He might not have been any of them. He hesitates, his fingers drumming against his goblet before speaking. He refreshes his goblet. I could have been any or none. I have no past anymore. You'd think I remembered something, but I don't. I could write origins for myself, but what would be the point? The luster has vanished from his eyes. Is this the lesson of Magdalene's? You can be anyone you choose, and in choosing you eclipse all that you were. He goes to a drawer and takes out a sealed envelope. For all your trouble, I am who I have chosen to be. I have that, at least. Yeah, not exactly good news. I mean, how the hell would anybody take that? You've told the amenable host that none of the memories he has are his. Is there anything more we can do with them? Like, we probably can't do anything more to help, right? The amenable host has an attendant open a fresh bottle of sparkling wine for you both. He tells you of movements in the Winchester War, of old longings quelled, of old em <clears throat> enmities reignited, of the arrest of the passage of time. To the human heart, memory is stronger than all Her Majesty's hours. Yeah, we can just chat, but that's about it. It did say we can go backstage. You've earned the amenable host's favor. You're permitted to socialize with the attendants and observe behind-the-scenes life at Magdalene's. There are always jealous glares when someone parts the violet curtain that keeps the attendants' private space from their work. Backstage, relaxed chatter and the scratchy sounds of music over the gramophone fill the air. Clouds of powdered makeup and tobacco wash over you, mixed with lavender perfume. Help an attendant prepare for work. Sure. There are lines to rehearse, briefs to, to digest, accents to perfect. The attendant finishes applying the brush to her wig. I don't suppose you're familiar with Her Majesty personally, no? She quirks an eyebrow in her mirror. Ah, well, I don't suppose tonight's client is either. How amusing. A waltz can be heard from the upper floors. Someone has requested the recreation of the Sapphire Jubilee. Share a drink. Unwinding after a guest is a necessity of life at Magdalene's. Glasses gleam in mellow candlelight. A party is being prepared. No customers allowed. The amenable host strides past, ignoring the crowd of admirers that follow him through the hallways. It's interesting. I feel like I can, like, does this allow me to do anything? It's interesting on its own, but, like, the waltz from upstairs, can I join the party? See what's going on with the waltz? Like, this is the same as... Oh no, this is different. Let me not be wrong about you. The attendant frowns as she finishes her line reading. But she was. He never came back for her. She bunches her hand into a fist before shaking it out. And now I get to go and play the salve for his guilt. Medible host rides past again. Help another attendant. Okay, this is one we've already seen. The Herb Majesty. Are you familiar with them? A cloud passes above the gleaming spires. Thunder resounds through the glass. Yeah, I think it's just just interesting. I think that's all there is to it. Seems like. Okay, well in that case, I have plenty of room for all of the ministry-approved literature. And let's... Oh, you know what? I'm so close to running out of this current bit of supplies. I'm at 4%. In that case, I prefer to just, like, wait a second till it goes away. Opens up another spot in my hold. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so let's go looking for Trader's Wood, which should be somewhere, was it south, southeast? So like here. And if I find it, I now actually have the literature to give them for the prospect. They want five. It's going to be a good amount of money, actually. Actually, yeah, it's perfect. They sold five. Nice. Okay, let's find Trader's Wood. I'm hoping this area here maybe opens up and allows me to go through here. Otherwise, I don't know how to get back here. Yeah, it seems like it's open. Look at these fields. Oh, hi. Look for unusual items. Salon to gossip. Yeah, uh, I was saying, this look like fields of stardust. So cool looking, so pretty. Yeah, I feel like Trader's Wood wouldn't be too close to the other ports. So it's probably not gonna be like here. I feel like it's probably gonna be further down, away from Magdalene's and Port Avon. That must be it. A forest of towering bronze woods. The wind is full of fallen leaves. They rattle at your engine's windows. Yeah, this place is so green, so full of life. Trader's Wood is a sprawling, secluded forest on the edge of the reach. Few venture beneath its gloomy boughs, and legend speaks of a king who sleeps under the barrow at the wood's heart. Oh, this is going to be a really cool place. I want to meet that king. Take expeditions into the wood's deep, campfire the wood's edge. Oh, this is going to be cool. Let's sell all the literature. Wait, what is... What does this mean? Trader's Wood keeps its secrets. The Somerset students camped in the dark wood require fresh material for their continued studies, entertainment, and occasionally roughage. They've requested five consignments of Ministry approved literature. Traders Wood lies. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I just don't know what this icon means. Almost a thousand coins! 3,500! Oh, that's great. The classicists are delighted, but you can't please the theologians. Too fanciful, apparently. The benevolists cannot seem to come to a definitive conclusion. You're paid well, all the same, and invited to go stargazing in the Pale Wood. A vision of the heavens. Ravenscourt and Stamford. The distinguished official retailers of Somerset College have deigned to establish a small outpost here. They conduct their business with consistent and vigorous disdain, trading lumber and edible flora from the Whispering Glades. Ah, they don't sell fuel here. Just supplies. And their export is Bronzewood. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. 
And when I return, we're going to explore Trader's Wood.